how to decide what to manifest for your dream business. It goes without saying that you can't manifest your dream business if you don't know what you want. And believe it or not, it's actually very common to desire a business, but not actually know what you want for your business. And today I'm going to help you decide exactly what you want for your business so you can move on with the other steps towards manifesting your dreams. Today you will discover the three core desires that every business owner needs to have to manifest a successful business. You are going to determine your own core desires for the three areas and you're going to understand how goal setting works differently for businesses than it does for most other areas of your life. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. Are you struggling to know what you want for your business? Are you confused about what you should be desiring for your business? Are you unsure about how to set goals for your business? Or are you feeling reluctant to even own your desires at the moment? I want to hear from you, so let me know what you're struggling with. Either leave me a comment on my blog or my YouTube channel, or send me a DM on Instagram. Now, I would love to know, do you want to feel clear on your core desires for your business? Do you want to feel confident that you know exactly where you are working towards with your business? And do you want to feel excited about the goals that you are setting for your business? So how to decide what to manifest for your dream business. Now, the main problem that most business owners have when it comes to deciding what they want for their business is that they are setting goals that immediately set themselves up to fail. When people generally teach entrepreneurs how to set goals, they usually just encourage them to set one type of goal, which is a revenue goal. And the main problem with only setting revenue goals is that you simply have zero control over whether or not you actually achieve the goal. And there are three types of goals that entrepreneurs should be setting to ensure that they are maximizing their chance of success. And I call these three goals the 3G goals. So the 3G goals are gratitude goals, giving goals and growing goals. So let's have a look at what a business actually is. So a business is based on an exchange of value between two people. You give something to someone and someone gives money to you. Now gratitude goals are what you get. Giving goals are what you give. And thirdly, growing goals are being the person who creates the exchange of value. You are the catalyst to make the exchange possible. So is this making sense? And I actually love this topic so much that I wrote a whole book on the subject called Stamp Goals, which is all about setting goals for entrepreneurs. So this includes this topic, but I am going to give you everything you need to get started setting your goals today. So you can use any time frame you like when it comes to setting goals, such as one month, three months, one year, three years, five years, or 10 years. But I have preferences for each 3G goal, and I'll let you know what those are and why as we walk through the process. Now, I'm going to walk you through all three of these goals so that you can get complete clarity over what you actually want for your business. So let's start with gratitude goals. So gratitude goals are my own name for revenue goals. And I call them gratitude goals because you get into a state of gratitude whenever somebody gives something to you. So it helps you to remember that this goal is based on someone else giving something to you, not based on something that you are able to take action on yourself. And I do think it's important to set revenue goals for your business because making money is absolutely crucial for your business. Otherwise, you don't actually have a business. So we do need to focus on making money. But what we actually need to do 
is to change our mindset when it comes to setting revenue goals so we can avoid getting disappointed and quitting our businesses altogether. And this is what most people do when they set revenue goals. They write down on a piece of paper their revenue goals and the deadline when they want to achieve the goal. Usually it's for a year's time. And then it gets to the end of the year and they haven't actually achieved the revenue goal and they feel like a failure. And then they label their entire business as a failure and they tell themselves it's not working and then they quit. And we don't want that to happen. What we actually want to do is change our mindset around our revenue goals. We need to accept that we don't have control over our revenue goals. And this is something that we are working on manifesting in the future. And then we need to let go of the control over achieving this goal. So this is my process for setting a revenue goal. You think 10 years into the future. Now, I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to answer it very quickly without hesitating or overthinking it. Are you ready? So go with your first gut instinct on this one. So, okay, here is the question. How much revenue would you love your business to be making in 10 years? So whatever you say, don't change it. Don't talk yourself down. It's probably going to be way higher than you ever imagined. This is your core desire for revenue. So promise me now that you're not going to change it. This is your higher self speaking to you now. So this is your future. Don't rewrite your future. Don't limit yourself. The reason why I chose 10 years is because it's such a long time that it doesn't seem real. And as you can't really imagine what your life is going to look like in 10 years, it allows you to really get into an imaginative space when you're being totally honest with yourself and tapped into the desires of your future self. And another reason why I chose 10 years is that people are much more likely to begin thinking of reasons why they are not good enough to achieve this lofty goal. But they are less likely to worry about how this goal is going to manifest. And this is really important because it allows you to set a goal that is exactly right for you without any of the baggage that normally comes with setting short-term revenue goals and the pressure and the stress that comes with that. So now let's move on to the second 3G goal, giving goals. So giving goals are what you are going to give in return for money. And this is where I find things get really exciting because we have total control over this goal and it's pretty easy to just put your head down and get to work creating something. And it's, it is easy for me to say because I have a natural tendency to achieve things with me being an Enneagram type three, which is known as the achiever. So it's very natural to me. But even if you don't have the same achievement tendencies as me, if you block even a small amount of time out of your day to creating something of value, you can be in business faster than you might think. So what should you actually be creating? Now, this is where we get really deep into what is my purpose? What is the meaning of my existence, etc. But I urge you not to even worry about the big picture like that at the moment. I believe personally that we have many reasons for being on this planet and some of them are work related and some of them are not. I also believe that your work or your business goals can change from one year to the next. What is your purpose right now might not be your purpose in the future and that's perfectly fine. Your business focus or your business niche can change and evolve. You can start and stop new businesses or morph and evolve your current business into something different. So sometimes it's hard to see a really long-term vision when it comes to your business and what you actually want to help people with. So for giving goals, I am going to suggest that you focus on a time frame of just one year. One year is long enough for you to create something meaningful to sell in your business without getting hung up over whether it is your life's purpose or not. The reason why I chose one year is that it doesn't put too much pressure on you, that you are getting stressed out about achieving something. And at the same time, it's a much shorter deadline than 10 years. So it encourages you to really see yourself taking action in the short term. 
So now I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to go with the first thought that, that comes into your mind. So are you ready? Imagine that tomorrow you won the lottery and you have so much money that you never have to worry about money ever again. All of your financial needs are met in abundance. So after a period of going on numerous shopping trips and taking luxury vacations and really enjoying your life, kicking back, relaxing, you start to feel a little bored because this is natural. As humans, we have a core desire to be useful, to help people. We like to feel like we are making a difference in the world. So here's my question to you. What would you like to do in the next year that could really help people, assuming all of your financial needs are met? How can you give value in the next year? How could you improve someone's life for the better? What would you offer them? What interests you? What would you like to dedicate yourself to for the next year? So I want you to go with your gut instinct here. If your mind starts immediately asking, how could I do that? Calm it right down and say to yourself, I have plenty of time to figure this out. All I am doing today is deciding what I want for my business. I do not need to know the how. So now let's move on to the third 3G goal, which is growing goals. So growing goals are goals that are personal to you as a person. They involve your personality and your own feelings. These are goals that help you grow and become the person who achieves the gratitude and the giving goals that you desire. Nobody else can achieve your core desires but you. They were placed on your heart for a reason because you are meant to achieve them. Now you need to believe in yourself enough to manifest your goals. So I'm going to ask you another question and I want you to, ask, uh, to answer it honestly. So are you ready? Who do you need to become to achieve your goals? What personality traits do you need to have to make your goals a reality? So usually what pops into your head straight away is something that is currently holding you back. These are your growing goals. Now, believe it or not, you already have these character traits and I know you might not believe me, but you actually do. So later on, we are going to be unblocking you. So you actually believe you have these character traits already. And another aspect of growing goals is how you want to feel when you have achieved your goals. So imagine now for a second that you have achieved both of your gratitude goals and your giving goals, and you've made so many sales that you have reached your revenue goal. How are you feeling right now? Believe it or not, these feelings are actually your true life goals. These are the essence of what life is truly about. We are here because of our ability to feel certain things. The main motivators for us are actually because we want to feel certain ways. So if you can remember that our feelings are behind our actual business goals, then this will help you to put your business in perspective. It can help you to put less pressure on your business if you try and bring these feelings into your life through other means. And if you do that, you'll have unlocked the secret to happiness. And it doesn't mean that you won't still work on your business, but it will help you to enjoy the process without feeling desperate or disappointed so much along the way. So those are the three G goals. So let me just remind you what they are. Number one, gratitude goals are the what. What do you want? Set it and forget it. Two, giving goals are the how. How will you get what you want? Set it and do it. Three, growing goals are the who. Set it and become it. So now that you have learned how to decide what to manifest for your dream business by setting the three G goals, you might be wondering how to use the power of intention to claim your desires fast. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. 
you can get all 10 steps in the manifesting process by signing up to my free manifest business success success challenge at manifestbusinesssuccess.com if you haven't already. So join the challenge while it's still free because I am in the process of turning this content into a book. And as I talked about content repurposing, that is another way I am repurposing this content. So while you are waiting for your next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. You can get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that converts. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this lesson free for a limited period of time because I'm testing a different lesson. So grab that while it's still available. So you can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get your free constantly converting content lesson. So until then, go and put your stamp on the world.